Hello, my name is Sirin Gupta and in this video series I want to demonstrate MarketJIT Pro and tell you about all its features. MarketJIT Pro is the only software that can help you grow your YouTube channel organically without spending a pile of money. In this particular video I want to just do a quick summary of MarketJIT Pro. MarketJIT has two basic functions harvesting of data and then interacting with it. You can harvest users which are the actual accounts, user accounts which have been created on YouTube and you can also harvest the video URLs of the various videos which have been uploaded to YouTube. And once you've got some data in MarketJIT, once you've captured some data, you can choose to interact with them using the interactions section. Let's do a quick review of every one of these buttons. Click on harvest users and you will see the options available which is add user which lets you add one user manually using the ID. Find from keywords which will let you look for users by typing in any keyword from any niche. It will give you the list of the users who've got videos uploaded in that niche Then you can contact them and maybe build up some kind of uh, audience for your videos. Then you've got harvest YouTube pages. In this particular section you can just type in or paste in any YouTube URL and it will get the users who are present on that particular page. It will give the addresses of all the users on that page. And then we've got harvest from tops and the top tops are actually the top feeds from YouTube which are available for syndication to anybody who subscribed to them. And uh, you can get the users who are a part of the top feeds. For example, you can get the top rated videos, uh, users who produce the top rated videos actually, or uh, the most recent videos that have been uploaded to YouTube and you can then get the usernames from all of uh, you know, those videos. In harvest videos, we have add video in which you can add a single video URL manually to YouTube. You can find the videos for a channel or user you can find videos for a keyword, you can harvest all the videos from a page or you can harvest videos from one of the top feeds. And once you've got some data in MarketJIT, you can interact with it. And how do we interact? We can either send the users a contact request, we can subscribe to them or we can share a video with them. And the sharing function will only work for the users which are already in your contact list. So send them your contact request and when they accept it, you can share videos with them. In video interactions, we will be able to get the users who have commented on a particular video. We can get all the videos that are related to a single video, which means you will be able to get all the other videos in that niche. And once you've got some video data with you, you can choose to post comments on the videos and build up your audience and also get links to your channel. We'll see all these features in details in a moment but before that let's also do a quick review of all these buttons. The reports buttons will actually give you the details of everything that MarketJIT has done and whether it was a success or a failure. If you see there's a task here, the type of the task, the class which is an update or it could be seek depending on what the operation was, the date when it was completed and the group, the data associated with the task. I will come to this again when we go into details. And the result, the result will be a green checkbox if the operation was successful, but and if the operation failed, it would be a red cross. And if you click on the red cross, you'll be able to see more details about why the operation failed. And this you can either used to uh, debug yourself or you can send it to the developers who will be able to find out why this failed and probably do some improvements in the future versions of the software. So this is it for review. Hang on for more detailed videos coming up in the next sections.